it ain't good. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well, how about that roast beef? Don't you think it's cooked yet? Roast beef? What roast beef? Oh, the roast beef. I'd almost forgotten about that. Yeah. Mister, when I cook one of these demonstration meals, it stays cooked. Yeah. Boy, I like roast beef. You're going to love this. And why? Because it's cooked in one of our bulletproof aluminum wear pans. Voila. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. A luncheon? Why, mister, that's right up our street, right? Right. Come on, Roger. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, what do you mean by busting into my kitchen like this? That's what I've been trying to tell him for years. Never bust into a man's kitchen, Roger. <laughs> For nothing? That's my proposition, and if this be treason, make the most of it. <laughs> I know, but my wife ordered a couple of caterers for this job. Phone the caterers and tell them you've changed your mind. What do you care? You're saving money, ain't you? Right? Right! Right! <laughs> Logic, we'll cook them up a luncheon like they've never seen before. <laughs> but first, we'll get our equipment. And whatever you do, don't rush. Take your time, please. Should be a door there. Wow. Hello, this is Eddie Taylor talking. You can cancel those caterers my wife ordered. We've changed our minds. Fifty bucks saved. Right, Ambrose? <laughs> Logic, will you ever learn to be quiet? Remember, we're on a hospital street. Besides, you know how noises irk me. <laughs> Certain noises, I mean. Well, enough of this nonsense. Quit kicking the pan around. <laughs> do you fellas think you can do this job right? Stop right there, Ming Toy. That's an insult. Listen, you, I've cooked things other chefs wouldn't dare to cook. Right? Right. I am not. Now shut up, please. Let's see. Have we everything we need? The turkey, the salad, the fish. Everything we need. So outside, outside. Well, all you gotta do is cook it. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. I tell you. Oh, look, eggs. As fine a gang of looking eggs as I've ever seen. <laughs> My favorite weapon. Don Blodger, no. Yeah, them's for the dressing. Give me that egg, Blodger. Mister, did you know you can squeeze an egg with a steady pressure and can't break it? It's absolutely a fact. You can't do it. No matter how hard you press. It's against all laws of gravity and poultry. 
I never knew that. It's a fact. Let me try it. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, he did it. He's one in a million. Congratulations. <laughs> it ain't to be laughed at. Exactly. Yeah. Here, wipe your hands on that. There you are. Hey, what's that gonna be, the salad? Hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> you know, I've lost my confidence in eggs. What's going on here? Uh, why, these men are the caterers, honey. Hello, honey, how are you? Hi, yo, that's my wife. Oh, pardon me, I thought her name was honey. <laughs> no, her name is Jenny. Hello, Jen, just leave everything to us. Now remember, I want this lesson to be a big success. It's a success with me already. Something that my guests will always remember. Lady, they'll never forget it. Oh, they know their business, all right. Ah! <laughs> uh, no! Right. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> hey, Jen, get a load of this. From the old world. When I holler, I'll lay up, you catch. I'll lay up! <laughs> he never misses. Well, I, I hope everything will be all right. All right, why, well, it's going to be perfect, but you better get out of here. The kitchen is no place for a woman. Outside, please. Yeah. Blodgett, how's that dressing coming along? You'd be surprised. <laughs> I expect to be. Uh, first, we'll stuff the turkey. Ah, light heavyweight. Why, well, that turkey's chicken-breasted, but aren't we all? Uh, we must be sanitary with this, you know. I guess I'll go and get dressed. Oh, no, you don't. You stay here and help. Grab the south end of that turkey while I stuff the dressing in. You got him? When I stuff a turkey, it stays stuffed. Right. I used to be a taxidermist. I use the one over one system. Season it up a bit. It's a roomy old bird. She certainly can take it, but I'm the guy that can give it. Hey, no trick. Oh, there it is. Hey, mister. You don't know what a temptation this is. Yeah? Hey, ain't that turkey stopped yet? I'll see. No resonance. Hey, we're not making a bit of progress around here. You know my arm feels like it's gone to sleep. So, Mr. Fu Manchu, holding out on me, eh? A dressing smuggler. Hey, cut that out. That's hey, what are you... Now look what you've done. You've ruined my gown. Oh, tut, tut. Never mind that Mother Hubbard. It made you look effeminate anyway. Hey, Blodgett, light the oven. Right. Roger, give me a hand with this turkey. Right. Did you light the oven? Not quite. Pardon you wouldn't mind lighting the oven for us, would you? Sure. Here's the matches. Thanks. Give me that pan, Blod. Coming up with the pan. Ah! Who done that? Who done that? Who done that? You'll have to take that up with the gas company. And please cut out the kidding. What are you kicking about? That happens to us every day. Certainly. Come on, Blodgett. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, but you can't disappoint me, Belinda. You simply must come. The caters are preparing a lovely turkey for luncheon. Boys, either the turkey's too big or the oven's too small. I'll have to amputate. Hey, I gotta eat that. You and me both. Hey, be uh, careful now, will you? It's all right. I got to cut him down to oven size. Certainly. Back of the ropes, everybody. Why don't you look what you're doing? Why don't you get back of the rope? <laughs> hey, you're ruining the turkey. I got to get it in the oven, don't I? Certainly. I know, but what is my wife going to say? After it's cooked, I'll sew it all up together again. She'll never know the difference. The gravy, Blodgett. There you are. That certainly looks good. That's fine, Blodgett. A little more. That's just right. How's that? That's well. <laughs> That's fine. Yum, yum. Oh, no. Oh, yes. A 
I'm going to eat those myself. <laughs> I'll put this in the oven myself to see that it's done right. Out of my way, you guys. Oh, 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 oh. Look out. Oh, 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 the tide's coming in. This is irksome. You put it in the oven, Blodgett. Oh, dear. I'll never be able to serve dinner in these. I can see that. You know, this has hurt my dignity just as much as it has your kitchen. I guess I'll go up and get dressed. Well, wait a second and I'll go with you. What for? What for? I haven't got any pants. You don't mind lending me a pair of pants, do you, neighbor? Oh, come on. We've got to be sociable, you know. <laughs> oh! Shall we join the ladies? You hide in there and I'll bring down the pan. Okay. Oh, you're a sight. What happened? Oh, I was just helping the caterers. Well, hurry up and get dressed. The guests are arriving. Yes, dear. <laughs> Mrs. Oh. Taylor. How do you do, Mrs. Clark Fuddle? And you, Mr. Charles. Charles. Oh, I'm so glad you could come. Come right on, baby. Come right on. Come right on. You want to fake a little base? What are you doing in the living room? Get out in the kitchen where you belong. Jen, you don't know what you're asking of me. Get out? I can't get out. Why not? Well, if you must know the truth, that's why. <gasps> oh, this is horrible. Here, hide behind this and get out in the kitchen and stay there. I think I go home. How do you do? How are you? Oh, what a beautiful rug. I think it flatters me a little, don't you? Gives me a rugged appearance. Ha <laughs> ha, there's a nippy. Is it a beluga stand or a sarook? Well, I don't know. Uh, I would say it's a no-pants coverall. Ooh, a no-pants coverall. <laughs> Very rare. Yes, and quite drafty, too. How have you been? Uh, oh. oh, it has a gorgeous sheen. Lady, you ain't sheen anything yet. <laughs> hey, please, no tricks there, Chubby. Is it tufted in the back? Tufted? I'll look. Yes, it's pretty tufted in the back. And I suppose it's hand tied. Well, I enough. wouldn't know. Hey, 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 please, madam. Do you think men are mice? Oh, well, why don't you put it on the floor where I can see it better? All right, you're just complicating things, though. But anything to oblige. Hey, Jen, call me at eight o'clock. Does it look oriental? Well, the light here doesn't do it justice. Well, I'll take it to the window. Hey, now, wait! Oh, hey. my please. goodness! Oh, well, of all things, most peculiar guess. And he's a magician, too. Where you been, you fiend? Give me those pants. Eddie, those caterers are simply disgraceful. Oh, I only hope the luncheon will be all right. Oh, don't worry, dear. They know their onions. Get that duck out of here. How's the pants? A little short in the legs. Nifty, but never gaudy. <laughs> How are we going to cook this sardine? Looks like a fish to me. Let's fry it. Too big to fry. Maybe we better bake him. Swell idea. You get some milk, I'll get some flour, and we'll make a batter. Right. Gastronomically speaking, Blodgett, if there's one thing that I like, it's a fish. Curse that aluminum wire. It's treacherous stuff. You'll be safe in there, Ambrose. Hey! Uh, don't ever sneak up behind a chef when he's working. What do you want? Come on and get that salad ready. Oh, the salad? Oh, yes. And the wife wanted served daintily. I remember. Hey! What? I like lots of it on mine. Oh, you want a lot of it? Yeah. Why didn't you say so? Ah! Hey! Hey! He got me! He got me! Hey! Oh! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The buzzer. That's my wife. Well, go in and tell the buzzer that lunch will be a little late. All right, but hurry. How about the turkey? Turkey? What turkey? Oh, the turkey. I'd almost forgotten about that. It ought to be done by now. Woo! Well, Blodgett, we can't serve that. It's got to go the way of all fish. Well, Blodgett? 
I've got to cook something. Well, don't look at me. What's that? Sounds like a duck. A duck? Who's in there? It is a duck. Hooray, the situation is saved and by a duck. <laughs> Quit quacking. He's got a bell around his neck. I've heard of a bell cow, but it's the first time I've ever heard of a bell duck. Grab that cleaver and follow me. Sounds like Ambrose is in trouble. Ambrose is all right. Now you sit down. All right. Fast work, Blodgett. That duck looks a little small to pass for a turkey. We'll soon fix that. If you'll pardon me, I'll see what's delaying the luncheon. Don't bother him, honey. It'll be ready in a minute. You know, you can't hurry a good chef. Ah. There's nothing like a little fresh air for a duck. <laughs> That's what I call inflation. <laughs> Quick, get it in the oven. There's not a moment to be lost. Give her more gas, Blodgett. This is a rush job. I'll answer it, dear. Hello, Dolan. Hi, Eddie. Some of your neighbors just called in and said there was a riot going on here. Oh, no. My wife has just thrown a little luncheon. Oh, everything under control? Sure. Hey, I got a scuttle of suds in the kitchen. Why don't you go around and help yourself? Don't care if I do. And while they're eating the duck, we'll demonstrate our aluminum work. Follow me, Blodgett. Hooray! Have you been waiting long? Everybody hungry? Yeah. Right off the fire. Ooh, it looks lovely. No partiality, Blodgett. Give the boss a smell, too. Does it please you, Monsieur? Is it tender? Tender and juicy. <laughs> then I'll test it. Uh-oh, we're not going to have a lunch, we're going to have a blowout. Oh! <laughs> this is your lucky day. He stuck on it. <laughs> Put that over on the serving table before it disappears entirely. How are you been? Never mind. <laughs> I still don't know what that bell is for. Well, cut her up. Eddie, Ambrose. Yes, honey. He ain't in the room. Serve that, Blodgett. Never mind the port. Use your fingers. Here you are, folks. Take the cheese into that, lady. Two more orders. Two more. Here you are, Blodgett. Come on, there. And a little dressing. Yeah, heavy on the dressing. <laughs> there you are. There's a hot Wait a minute, let me go on, Here you are, go ahead. Here's a hunt for you, Chuggy. Give me one of those plates, Blodgett. Okay. Hey, you're not going to serve that to anybody, are you? Certainly, that's the part with the bell on it. That goes to the boss. Okay. I'll serve this myself. Should have forks here. Ah, oh, a tidbit for the master. Boy, does that look good. Are you asking me or telling me? Eddie, Ambrose. Yes, honey. I think my duck is in the room. You think he is? I know he is. Maybe he's under the table. Don't be silly. He's on the table. No, he must be under the table. All right, I'll debate with you on that. Winner take all. Have you been playing with Ambrose? Ambrose? Who's Ambrose? My pet duck. Have we been playing with him? <laughs> and how? <laughs> you know, I'd kill a guy that harms my duck. Uh, look under the table. Lodge it. Duck. Ambrose, speak to me. Speak to me. Quack, quack. 